today my focus will be totally on coffee drinking. So I uh, got my uh, Wheel of Data Mark and uh, it's uh, ready to run because uh, I know first presentation is always difficult. Um, I hope you have your cup coffee and can enjoy. So um, I have one 1,200 seconds and uh, tons of slides and uh, I would like um, to went through of them. So um, why coffee drinking is connected to data? Um, first of all, let me share um, some sentences on myself. Um, so a few words about me. So I have an um, IT background, um, but I'm working on intersection of uh, finance, technology um, and project management. Um, the last 11 years I spent with Dibyshenko, which is a global logistics provider. I will get in a couple seconds uh, there. Um, and um, I have a wealth of international experience. We can um, um, make some uh, guess on, on the flex you see down below. Um, I'm Generation Y, father of two kids, and usually I'm sitting in, in the building which, is, uh, which you see um, on, on the page. And my job is we love data. So, um, so much about me. Um, DB Schenker and Logistics, you, you might run across uh, some trucks labeled with our name. Um, the company was founded in um, 1872. Uh, Size-wise, um, our revenue is uh, equaling 17 billion. And we are operating in 130 countries. Um, we have um, roughly 75,000 own employees. Um, and uh, we do have four business units air freight, ocean freight, land transport, and contract logistics. Um, usually, um, when I'm asked what's the definition of logistics, my definition would be logistics happens if place of consumption is not a place of production. And if we are back to our coffee, well, usually the place where you consume your coffee is not equal to a place where it's produced, unless you have some uh, coffee beans in your garden. Maybe there are some participants which can share the experience. Um, and um, another perspective on logistics business, um, it's network driven business. So um, knowing or having a network is important. We have quite a broad customer base. So you will have everything from customers with a couple hundred euros transportations up to uh, multi-million uh, corporations. Um, and it's uh, asset light business means that we are not owning the trucks, the planes and the ships that are um, operated, um, but they are provided by, uh, by vendors or by um, transportation companies. Um, which is not 100% the case because we do own some of the trucks, but uh, that's a different story. Um, my top 10 for a successful data journey. Um, and uh, today we will focus uh, on number seven, coffee drinking, is uh, usually start with a why, so what, what, what is the data used for, uh, perform a health check, uh, fix accountability, role of OT, and so on. So everyone um, interested, can uh, we can catch up later on, but today it's about the number seven, coffee drinking. And uh, why is it important? Uh, well, actually, uh, all of the jobs where you try to trans, um, to make a transformation in a company require three basic things. First, first one is to mobilize people. Uh, second one is to focus on certain tasks. And third one, to apply things you decided. So that's the why, how, how, how we're getting it fixed. Uh, my third chapter is uh, the pure um, coffee drinkings and... Uh, um, let me get another buck. So, well, um, usually, why coffee drinking and uh, which parts of it? And uh, let's have a look at, uh, at uh, this. At, um, at the, how, how long should uh, the data pitch should be? So, uh, a, a quite good uh, data pitch shouldn't be longer than uh, as long you need to prepare a decent coffee. And uh, usually, if you look at the attention span in seconds, uh, it went down from uh, 12 seconds into 1,000, 
down to uh, eight seconds in uh, 2015. So um, that's, um, that's pretty difficult because it means usually if you prepared <coughs> 20 slides across your data journey, uh, most people will not listen already after a second slide. Well, um, how to change it or what are the pain points that needs to be addressed? Well, usually we, we're looking um, or we quite frequently looking into the technological perspective of data. But what is even more important are the business struggles that are behind. Um, and actually, if you boil it down, um, those are um, four struggles. The first one is uh, sell high. Second one is buy low. Third one, collect your money early. And last one is uh, pay your suppliers late. Um, but uh, let me get a bit more into detail on, uh, on those ones. Well, um, usually your data pitch, um, or comparing the data pitch to, to coffee drinking is again about, it should be appealing to a person or function that you are talking to. So the coffee should be well tasting for the one who's uh, listening to you and, and not to yourself. So, which means usually the usual data story is there is this new tool called Silver Bullet. It's from Dipno. It has the built packages of ABC and Connector for, and so on. And we get some licenses on top. So I, I heard this story quite often, and um, um, uh, I unfortunately I'm sorry. I, I need to tell you what business is usually looking like. Is like I have like four targets: the customer, the production, collection, and payments. So if your silver bullet is able to help on any of those, it's welcome. Um, which means so that sometimes we need to um, turn our um, sales pitch a bit uh, around and uh, address those for business issues. Next perspective is uh, think about the culture. What does it mean and why is it helpful? Well, um, first of all, um, it's, it's helpful um, because if if you look into a perspective, if you tried to um, uh, to if you try to change something, so there are usually three layers. First one is, or the, the inner one is addressing identity. Second one is uh, addressing processes, and the third one is addressing the outcomes. Just let's compare it to. Um, I, I I would try to live a healthier way, so less coffee for me, and lose weight. So this one would address the outcome. So I would I would agree like, okay, I would like to reduce my weight by uh, two kilograms. So that's addressing the pure outcome. The second one processes is, I would start uh, to go for a jog once a week. And the third one is to giving a totally new healthy identity. Um, and um, if you transfer it to the data world, that's what we've done with our We Love Data initiative. Um, some advertising on my mark, sorry. Um, and uh, this is how we try to foster those things, not, not only um, by establishing um, projects, but as well by addressing the identity. Um, next one, mobilization. Why should you invest time in coffee drinking? Well. Uh, the most important uh, thing is how do you mobilize a, a big organization and um, the, the crucial thing is mobilization is about from moving beyond admiring the problem to actually doing something about it. Because you might have the best analytics on uh, some of your business pain points, but if you are not moving to actually solving them, uh, you will uh, lose out on that journey because those things are the most important ones. Um, culture. What is important besides uh, the pure identity and culture? Well, uh, building up community is crucial. And uh, one thing is uh, building community, which is by far bigger than your central team that is working on the project or um, on, on the program. And uh, this will scale up your resources on one hand. and uh, it will it will give you more trust and it will as a boost in um, 
in, in the execution part. So some, some other examples on uh, communication and I, I would uh, focus on the lower part. Um, well, we assembled it around uh, onboarding of new people or getting access requests to the system or getting trainings like manual and videos or some guidelines or creating a test center so you can test online uh, your knowledge about the system and data. Um, all like basic things like uh, master tips or uh, addressing weekly tip on uh, how to work with a system or uh, any hints on, uh, on those ones. Um, in the end, and uh, I think that, that's the, the core of all those things, uh, make it emotional. I think uh, it, it's quite easy to uh, solve a technological issue, so to find the software that is able to, to store your data or to analyze the data. The more difficult point is usually how to make it emotional, and uh, this was uh, kind of our target to do so. Um, next one. Um, some, some examples I would like to share with you, so like training sessions and uh, like uh, key insights or features that we actually liked it and uh, um, I, I think it's, uh, the, the team well, uh, did an amazing job in producing them and it's, 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 it's really important to, um, for some notes to, to, um, to, to follow some, some basic stuff like use local language or follow the local time zone. Um, we, we need to pay care that it's not only fitting our purpose, but as well like the organization around us. Um, think about um, that you get your training certified because uh, people are more interested in them uh, at that point. Uh, collaborate with uh, champions of modern uh, workplace. So there is an uh, other initiative running in parallel which provides uh, internally um, an app which delivers some trainings and uh, so like you can learn things in less than an hour and uh, further develop yourself on, on data. Um, a, a, another interesting point is weekly master tips. Um, so we have uh, Natalie and team who's posting uh, 9 a.m. in the morning with master tips or how, how to um, handle the system for advanced features and for as well new users. So it's not only for the advanced ones, but as well helpful for onboarding. Create a quiz, so um, gamification of the stuff. So not only create a policy, but have a gamification in place and as well um, announce winners of the quizzes. Um, and uh, as well, people are interested how they score in, in this quiz, so that's, that's, an, that's a great one. Um, last but not least, which I would uh, um, like to mention is a chatbot, so we're playing around with a chatbot within uh, Microsoft Teams um, in order to handle like um, first, uh, first level support requests like uh, where can I find access to the system or uh, which policies are in place or where can I find some additional trainings and so on and so on. Um, next one is as well more on, on the intersection of uh, community, communication and change. So we started with uh, in internal uh, data talks so it's, uh, you, you might call it podcast, we, talk, we call it um, data talks. And uh, it's to have a, let me say, outside perspective. So we usually bring in uh, external speakers. Um, any, anyone interested, uh, drop a message. Um, because um, we realized we, we are not the only ones having this issue. And we try to bring an outside, outside in view on, uh, on things and uh, that's quite helpful. And, and as well, you will realize if you're talking to external party, um, you will less use buzzwords um, or even abbreviations which you use internally. Um, and that's kind of helpful for our sales and procurement and our, our audiences, so sitting in functions or in business units, because uh, it, it's important that you speak their language and uh, not, not for buzzwording. Um, next one, um, I already mentioned it briefly, so the master quiz of a month. And, uh, well, um, 
you, you might even win something, so bag, mug, t-shirt or sticker. Um, and this is kind of gamification which makes the data journey um, more interesting um, so that where people uh, spend time in uh, doing the quiz and uh, filling out uh, um, those questions or answering the questions. By the way. Um, so we announce it, announcing them in a video at the end, so we, which is a nice gimmick as well because you kind of uh, give them some platform to present themselves and it's a kind of competition. So we announce as well winners for each of the regions and for the head office. So there's some competition going on. Um, I mentioned this one, so speak languages of your community and uh, if you have a lot of users that are uh, Spanish speaking, so probably all your trainings need to be done as well in local language. Uh, yes, it's an investment, uh, but it will uh, pay off uh, definitely. Um, and sometimes you need to re relabel your cup. Um, so sometimes uh, Europe, uh, we have uh, we consisting out of uh, multiple regions and uh, I told uh, 100 plus countries. So sometimes you need to relabel re your map from uh, we love data to we love Europe because uh, your, your your local community and local support will make it happen um, or will break your project certainly. Um, Next one, automate everywhere. Uh, I showed you the chatbot, so that's a screenshot of a chatbot uh, in uh, Microsoft Teams. Uh, and you see here, we use it like for, okay, that's the team to introduce. Those are the master tips. Here you can access our community, our web page. So really simple things. Um, and uh, um, or how to create a support ticket. So you get an answer, okay, support ticket, mail it to this mail address. Um, it's uh, it's it's a great experience as well. Next one, data is a product, and uh, so treat it really as a product, which means it needs a life cycle, showing like present and future functionalities that you will develop. It has a development roadmap, and uh, we divided it for us in governance topics, so data governance topics, integrations of systems, and customer feedback. So additional functionalities. That customers ask for. Um, last point I, I would like to touch is uh, duplicates. So duplicates are evil and uh, just let's sync this one. Um, sometimes it takes uh, quite long to explain to business, to sales or to business units uh, or whomever uh, why data is so important and uh, by making it more tangible like saying okay Duplicates in the system are evil and explain it in a less technical way might have a by far a higher impact um, on, on your audience. Um, so uh, why do we care? And again, I'm, I'm coming back to what I told you uh, up front is uh, why should we care about uh, duplicate data? Well, because in the end, uh, we want to focus on selling high, which means revenue or creating revenue via customer, buying low, which means vendor costs, uh, collect early, so days of sales outstanding and paying late, days purchases outstanding. And you need to bridge that your language and uh, your arguments might not match your audience because you will talk more on... Uh, uh, algorithms for deduplication and your audience will be more focusing on, on, on business issues. Um, focus, um, that was one, one of uh, important for us is like um, find out which data points are more crucial for you, like uh, that's an analysis for uh, one of uh, random entities. You will realize that like 10% uh, of your data, in this case it's customers, it could be vendors or whatsoever are generating 88% um, of your revenue. So um, I would for sure focus on, on uh, this chunk first and uh, so in investing in uh, cleaning, cleaning it up and um, increasing data quality. And uh, it's uh, quite important as well during a crisis because you don't want to call the wrong customer or to done the same customer five times if it's not relevant. Um, 
change. Data is sexy, and I think that uh, most people understood it. But just to understrike it, if you look at uh, if if you look at uh, uh, World Economic Forum, you will realize that uh, future of job survey is saying that data analysts and scientists, but as well big data specialists, are uh, future jobs. And uh, there is, on the other hand, decreasing demand on data entry clerks. Um, and my summary for for today is uh, so uh, focus on culture as data is an asset. Uh, you probably should put it in uh, any kind of uh, uh, law or meaning um, um, op op operations guideline that data is an asset. Communication don't. Speak the text length, your stakeholders do not care about um, IT code usually. Um, we have to access the stakeholder data literacy um, and uh, meet our stakeholders where they are. Uh, make it emotional, build up a culture or build up a community and scale fast from your core project team to the world outside, to the regions, to the countries, to business units and functional units. Uh, last but not least, change, keep the great things, change and adapt to your customer needs, so to business issues. Um, that's actually it. Um, anyone interested in a chat, uh, use the QR code uh, so we can chat uh, on uh, LinkedIn.